So we've leveled off at flight level 210, and now we're going to write down uh, some ECTM, engine condition trend monitoring. This is data that um, the MFD will capture with a top card. Um, but the ECTM book is asking for more information than the data card will collect. And I highly recommend that you write it down each time so that uh, you don't uh, lose track of how your engine's performing. So we set up for 70% power, 29 and a half ish, so we don't want to fiddle. We just get as close as we can and leave it alone. 2,400, 21 and a half gallons. And then we write down the numbers. In this case, we're just getting this airplane uh, started on the CTM. So we'll leave a couple of blank lines for a balance forward for some estimates based on 617.3 hours of flight without ECTM, and then uh, we'll cover the cycles, we'll count the cycles there as well. We're going to write down the date, manifold pressure, RPM, fuel flow, turbine inlet temperature, CHTs, all of them, the indicated outside air temperature, which on the G1000 is in the lower left corner. The pressure altitude, which if you're not in the flight levels at standard barrel, you should set your backup instrument, air, airspeed indicator, to 2992 temporarily. Read off the absolute altitude, or the correction of pressure altitude, and uh, then write that down. Indicated airspeed, uh, oil pressure, oil temperature, hobs out and in or out anyway, and then uh, cycles. And trip purpose, if that's of interest. So engine condition trend monitoring is an important feature, and uh, it's very useful for pilots in the know, particularly owner pilots, uh, because it helps the mechanic know what's going on with the engine. Once you do this a dozen times or so, you learn what temperature should be. Center American 372, uh, 12,000 for 1, 7, 7, 8, uh, the, This is a piston mirage. Uh, these TITs should not be at 1,600. I don't care what the book says. You ask any engine expert, and they're going to tell you it's, you know, at 250 uh, with the... Uh, 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 with the engine set up at 70%, you should not see higher than, say, 1580 on the TIT, and no higher than uh, 380 on any CHT, the hottest of which is typically the number five, although during break-in that could vary some. Oil consumption, five to 10 quarts an hour is considered normal, and uh, I recommend you only check the oil first thing in the morning with the intention of adding oil, because otherwise it'll under-report. That's it. American 2202, Frederick Newman, Rusty. Roger, fly safely. Train off it.